Hi everyone and welcome to Product of A6 and in today's video we'll be speculating which characters from all the Marvel movies will show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We'll be mostly looking at characters from Marvel films pre-MCU era that were made by Fox, Sony and others and speculate whether or not they will appear in the film. So before we get started if there's any point you enjoyed this video I really appreciate if you could drop a like as that would really help out the channel. Thank you. Also there will be potential spoilers since I will also be talking about some leaks from the film and of course there will be spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home so beware. But let's get into this. So before the MCU's birth and even during phase 1 and early phase 2, there have of course been different types of Marvel films released by other studios. A lot of them beloved and others not so much. However, we're locally exploring the concepts of variants in the MCU multiverse, that different types of versions of the same characters existing in different universes, living different lives and even looking very different from each other. But like Spider-Man No Way Home showed us, when Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield and their villains appeared, the other Marvel films outside of the MCU can and are most likely canon when it comes to the multiverse and have the potential to cross over in the main MCU reality given the right story, circumstance and etc. So which characters could we see show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness given it is somewhat of a sequel to what happened in Spider-Man No Way Home and of course diving deep into what the multiverse has to offer. I think one of the biggest characters who's rumoured and even leaked that will show up in the film is of course Sir Patrick Harris's Professor X from the X-Men films as the older Charles Xavier. At this point I think it's safe to say that he will be in Doctor Strange 2 and may have a significant role. Now I think if I had to guess what point of the timeline he will come from, I think it will be from the end of Days of Future Past. Since everything was going well up until some time before Logan happened, where most of the populations of mutants were wiped out and killed. Not to mention it will make the most sense. One of the reasons why we know that Professor X will show up in Doctor Strange 2 is because there are leaked previous photos of the character showing Charles Xavier, which I won't show here because I don't really want to risk it, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. If not, I'll try put them in the description below. Not to mention in the Doctor Strange 2 trailer, we see the different types of old school Marvel intros showing up before we see the official Marvel Studios intro, we have been seeing since Phase 3. Early Marvel intros we not only saw in the early MCU films, specifically Phase 1 and 2, also were used in Marvel TV and now in Marvel games, but also ones used in the Fox X-Men films, the Fox Fantastic Four films and others, which I will be talking more about later. So yeah, Professor X at this point is a given, I will most likely be a variant of the Professor X we've been following throughout that specific universe, even if he's from post Days of Future Past era. Speaking of Fox's X-Men, their most popular character was of course Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, which was one of the most iconic takes of a comic book character put to screen. So could we also see him in Doctor Strange 2? Though I think it's kind of unlikely that he will show up in the film, Jackman did repost a Boss Logic edit of Wolverine as well as posting a picture of Kevin Faggy too on his Instagram page around July I believe. Now it's possible that he could be posting them because Wolverine was the most popular role he's ever done and that I believe he's good friends with Kevin Feige in real life too. So he could have posted them because he felt a bit nostalgic but let's be honest with what we saw in No Way Home with both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appearing in the film teaming up with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I think it's safe to say that one of the most popular characters from the early 2000s Marvel films is also a variant of Wolverine in the MCU multiverse. Now I think if he were to appear it most likely won't be a major role like Professor X will have but most likely a cameo which may or may not serve the story. But if they were going to bring in Who's Logan into Multiverse of Madness then he would have to serve the story somehow. I think there's a 40-50% chance of happening since its ending in Logan was pretty perfect but then again it would be a variant so there's a chance that we might actually see it. One character that have been recently rumoured to show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is Eric Banner's Hulk or well specifically his version of Bruce Banner from the 2003's Hulk film and the reason why I say specifically Bruce Banner is because according to Moth Culture who were the ones to report it he will appear in the film but won't be able to transform into the Hulk. However, in my opinion, I don't think he'll be in the film, mainly because Arab Banner himself did say that he wouldn't come back and return as the Hulk, because he felt like the 2003's Hulk film was just a one-time thing, so I don't expect him to show up at all to be honest. Though I could be wrong. Ghost Rider is a character that I've been theorised a lot and I believe also rumoured to make an appearance too, and I've seen a few people throw around Nicolas Cage's Johnny Blaze, however I don't know if I'm willing to believe that's the case, since there might be a chance that Marvel wants us to forget about those films, as they weren't well received but also because we know that Marvel are developing and paying more attention to the supernatural side of the MCU. Like of course Doctor Strange himself, WandaVision diving deep into the mythos of the Scarlet Witch, Moon Knight who's getting his very own show starring Oscar Isaacs, and Blade who's being played by Mahershala Ali and whose voice we heard in one of the Internals post credit scenes, confirmed by Chloe Shaw. So I think they will continue to do that by introducing their own version of Ghost Rider in the MCU and even hopefully giving him his own show or film in the future. So if Ghost Rider 
were to appear in Doctor Strange 2, I think it will be the MCU's version, being played by a different actor. Next we have Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, who we just saw in Spider-Man No Way Home teaming up with Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield to fight and kill the villains from the Sam Raimi and the Amazing Spider-Man films, which was awesome to see. However, his Spider-Man was also rumoured to show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for quite some time to be honest, especially after Sam Raimi was confirmed to replace Scott Derrickson as the director. And since one of the things Sam Raimi was famous for was of course directing the OG Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker himself. So that alone would be enough to have Tobey Maguire show up. And to be honest, I think there's a good chance we might see this. But at the same time, there are massive things just holding it back. And that's of course Sony owning the film rights of Spider-Man, especially Raimi's iteration of the character and his world. Though obviously both Mom and Sony could have worked something out behind the scenes, I also think it would be a lot harder to do than if Tom Holland himself were to show up, especially when he's going to make a guest appearance in the MCU film outside of his own solo film. So even though I'm going to say no for now, never say never, especially after what we saw in No Way Home. Furthermore, what about Tim Story's Fantastic Four? Well, one character from that version of Marvel's first family is rumored to appear, and that is Euron Griffin's version of Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic. As according to My Time to Shine from Twitter, who's apparently going things correct, they say that we'll be seeing a multiversal Illuminati, which will have a Christine Palmer variant, other X-Men be members, Ultron Jones being controlled by a variant of Iron Man, who will most likely be played by Tom Cruise, as he was also one of the many characters rumored to appear in the film. Not to mention was almost MCU's Tony Stark before they casted Robert Downey Jr. in the role. And of course, Mr. Fantastic himself will be part of that team. And even though this sounds insane, and part of me don't think it will happen, but then again, since this is the multiverse we're talking about, seeing the other past Marvel intros in the trailer, I think there's a chance we could see 2005's Reed Richards. And I also wouldn't be surprised if we saw Chris Evans' Johnny Storm as the Human Torch. However, what about you guys? What characters from all the Marvel films do you think will show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Do you agree with what I said? Or do you disagree and think we might see other characters like Wesley Snipes' Blade show up? Let me know in the comments down below, I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and one more subscribe. To begin, Protocol 36.